Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 34 already, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to pump out more and more episodes every day as much as I can, whether they're 10 minutes long or five minutes long. I'm just trying to get out as much as I can to help you with any of your productivity tools. So just a message before we start. If anyone does have any productivity tools that they'd like to share or they'd like me to specifically review or even to break down something within it, I'm really into doing this at the moment. So definitely drop me a line on Twitter at Francesco D underscore A-L-E-S and I'll definitely get back to you. So in this specific episode, we're going to be focusing on Todoist and specifically within Todoist filters. And for those who don't know, uh, I've done a the importance of filters before on another episode. But today, I just want to show you how you can utilize this filters feature. And for anyone that goes in, uh, this is basically for premium users to utilize. However, when you are a premium user and you are using this, you simply scroll over to filters um, and you've got projects and labels here. So you just click here and you're able to see a kind of um, selection. What a lot of people do is they create specific filters around priority. But sometimes when you've got so many labels and you start building up those labels, you can start creating specific filters around those labels. And that's very useful. So here I'm just going to showcase how you can create one and also some useful ones to start. So my top tip one is probably get some emails done. And what I've done here is I've basically taken a filter. And once I break this down for you, I've named it get some emailing done. And then whenever the word email, contact, message or send is mentioned in a task, all of those pop up. So for example, if I press them, I can see all the emails I send. And that's pretty useful. Um, because then what I can do um, is I can specifically find a task that I can do when I'm, you know, in email mode, and I can get some more emailing done. So that's very, very useful. The next one I've got is actually got 10 minutes and it's any task under 10 minutes. I should change this one because I've recently revised my uh, label for 10 minutes. But if I click this one, it'll bring up any task I can do specifically in 10 minutes. The next one is call up people. And I'm, all I've done here is just put queries with phone, call, contact or ring, a very useful one. And this is where it kind of goes a bit deeper with um, specific bits of information. So as you can imagine, um, you probably have a method of transport. Maybe it's a train, maybe it's a taxi, um, maybe it's even walking. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing any tasks while you're walking, but if you have to, um, you can create a specific filter around this. So what I've done with taxi is I've created one that filters out ones that have smartphone in, so use of smartphone, because I'm not going to bring my laptop out while I'm on in the ride. Um, and I just, I mean, I don't take that many taxis. It's just because um, that's probably the, you know, the only method of transport I think of using um, at 10 minutes and at inactive. That basically means, you know, not much energy to produce this task. So once I click in here, I can see all the tasks that correlate to that specific thing, which is so useful. Next one is create content. And with this one, it's anything with the words write, work on and develop inside it because that's creating contact. Um, another thing is easy things to do. That's with my smartphone. Uh, I usually have this one on, which is basically a filter that has called tasks that have no due date for some reason. And they basically kind of slip as the one that slipped through. Um, and that's useful if you've accidentally written one on the go and you've forgotten to sign a date to it. So press no due date and that query will be able to um, bring it up. Um, the next one I just have on the, on the fly is view everything. And that just basically views everything you've got in your entire inbox. So I hope this one was useful, guys. Um, I hope it, you have some ground to create some filters because a lot of people get premium and they don't utilize all the features within premium. So I'd get using that, try it out, see what works for you and make sure you understand that you've got to create some sort of filters for your kind of system. So whether it's on the train, it could even be um, on the way to work specifically, you could have um, specific tasks around a time, um, you know, you can have anything, really. You just have to utilize both the labels and features, seeing as you've got premium. So thanks very much, guys, and make sure to have a really productive week.